Okay, I think everything's working. Looks like it. All right. Uh, quickly to YouTube's. Because I forgot to monetize the last stream. <laughs> Turn up a second. I always kind of think it's funny with these streams where uh, when you're doing the monetization, you can set it up to have be super aggressive. Uh-oh, where'd the chat go? Where did the check come? Where did it go? Well, anyways, we can start up over here. Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. Still working on the chat. Casey hasn't had a nap, so if you hear yelling from above, that is 100% why. Hey, Emu. It showed up and then disappeared, and then when I refreshed it, it showed up again. Also, I didn't realize I hit the arrow button. <laughs> I looked over the screen just seen the character just violently shifting. Hey, there we go. Ryan, what's up? Okay. Yo, real quick, before we get into what I was, the bleh, the title of the video. Also, is my drink over here? I had a drink. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, I think it's upstairs, and because it's upstairs, I'm just not going to worry about it. Oh, all right, well, anyways, uh, let's switch it over to the little camera here. Okay, so you'll see here, I have a iris, I guess a wing. We're going to call it a wing. Um, Like I mentioned, uh, well, I mentioned it in a video I have that hasn't been, hasn't come out yet, because every time I try to get the stupid video edited, <laughs> Something happens. So I have all the comparisons. I even have the video explaining why we were going to call it a review that never was. And then I found out that the actual footage of us doing the video, I don't know where that SD card went now. I thought it was already saved on here, but I can't find it for the life of me. So I'm going to fix this. And then I might just redo the review in my own time. Maybe just do like an unimportant review and just redo it without that or... One of these times I get our nez over, probably hop onto it. Anyways, you can see the little spiky things broke. That broke off a little bit ago. I don't even know how, because for the longest time, it was literally just sitting in the corner of my office. Nobody's touched it. Just hanging out next to Gamera because I meant to do photos. And then the day that I decided to go work on photos is the day I noticed that this thing broke off. And it's annoying as balls. Uh, will I review the NECA ALF? Probably not. It was one of those, I was thinking about grabbing it, but like I said, I need to try to be a little bit better with my spending. And while I enjoy ALF, it wasn't a huge part of my childhood, so I don't feel like I need the action figure. Not nearly as much as like dinosaurs or what have you. Anyways, so I'm going to fix this thing real quick. Oh, well, hey, if you got appointments, you got appointments, man. Well, this should be quick. And then this one I actually customized a while back, which is the Iron Stomper. The only thing I did, though, is I just kind of made him look scuffy. And somebody, con uh, one of my buddies contacted me because he was going to buy this for his, for his wife and wanted me to customize it. I was like, well, I have one of these already hanging out, and I was trying to sell it anyways. So if you want it, I'll just sell you this one. So that's what's happening. So for the most part, I don't really got to mess with it too much. Cause like I said, I already did all the scuffies. So you'll see he's a lot shinier and he has more nicks and stuff here and there, but I want to do a black wash to kind of fill in some grime. And then I got some 
uh, weathering powders that I'll probably go over it a little bit, uh, rust them up, maybe kind of like dirty up the feet a little bit. Or you'd see like a lot more wear. So we'll mess with that. And then we also have for this one is the heat ray Godzilla, not the translucent one. And, uh, this was a error that got sent in it was fixed. It was supposed to be a translucent. The guy got sent, but they, this was what was sent instead. So I'm going to repaint it to be a little bit more accurate and get rid of the blue on the tummy and what have you. But this is mainly going to be like a lot of dry brushing minus where the spines are. I actually have to look up some footage or at least some images of how this should look a little bit more appropriate because I kind of know it in my head, but I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. Cause honestly, I want to do it all blue with white dry brushing. Well, this was airbrush, 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 but we'll get to him last. He'll be a, if we get around to it. And then these ones, I've been wanting to do some streaming of this cause I just kind of sit here chilling, but for a lot of these, I kind of got to be quick because with the epoxy buddy, it hardens very fast. Well, not super fast, but fast enough. So I wouldn't be able to like chit chat a whole lot. But the other day, I just kind of showed some progress in this. I got the chest and the shoulder spikies done. Next is getting to back. And then I'm hoping to get to the back tomorrow. At least on this one. They get to the back and then make some spikes and then these can stay. And then I would like to do the forearms, but I don't think that's something I'll get done to on the same day. Cause it's gonna be kind of hard to work on forearms while also having this back needing to be hardened. So this will be a wait and see. I might do the back and maybe mess with the feet or something. Cause I could also maybe just pop it apart and do them separately. And finally, I forget the name of this guy, what he's becoming. <laughs> like Magula? Something like that. And I got the progress on him too. He's kind of stuffed out. And then I hid these seams. I had to remake because for the Kaiju, it has whatever you want to call these bumps. And then it has another inner layer of bumps, and then it has all the spikes on top. So right now I'm just kind of trying to seal it and get all the detailing. And then I'll go back through, drill some holes in order to reinforce some of the spikes. And then I'll be making a bunch of spikes. Blueberry Godzilla is just going to make them look a little more accurate. Sort of similar to the, to the translucent variant. Anyways, going to fix this part. So my hope is I can just kind of eyeball this. Because one little trick you could do when you go to drill is you could take a little bit of paint and you apply a little dab where you want your center to be. And then you just connect it to connect it to the other side, the paint will transfer and then you know where you're drilling your holes. Um, but usually I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. So I'm just going to try that and see what happens. It is your blueberry. Okay, so I'm a little off center. Does actually hurt a little bit. I say I'm really good and then I just jank it up. So I need the hole to be up here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, do I have paper clips around? Probably should have looked at that before I started messing around with this. Uh, cause I know I just found my other box of stuff too. That is not it. Got a bear gun hanging out though. He's going to be turning into something too here in the near future. Uh, where did the box go? 
There it is. This thing. This is what I wanted. I got these for clearance when after Christmas. And these work really good for what I need. See? Lots right in. Good to go. Uh wire cutters. Snip. Hopefully. Should connect. I have a little bit too much on it. And all this is doing is just helping to reinforce it so it won't break off again randomly just from touching it. I was hoping to pose him with these. Still don't know where the heck I am putting them. Mm -hmm. Um, to be honest, I'm. The one I made would probably work good. I would just have to upscale it for that particular figure. So in short answer, yeah. <laughs> I might just make it an option. Maybe a little more money, but I'll have to test it out too. Because I'm hoping to get back to doing more printing soon because the weather's warmed up around here so I can toss the stuff back out in the garage. Because what I'd also really would love to do is make a dedicated space spot to always have this hooked up for me to do the live streams because then i could just turn everything on be good to go well right now i have to every time i want to stream i kind of have to assemble it especially if like we were playing fallout the other day so i had to tear this apart to take it in the other room and then also just working on stuff i have to tear this apart a lot as the stuff gets kind of in the way because with the 3d printers and stuff hanging out here i just don't get enough room there we go. Can't even tell it's broke. Because there's always a little bit of a gap there. <laughs> it's, it was never flush. Sweet. All right. So that was a quick job. Now I can actually finally get Iris back on its thing. Gotcha. Could honestly probably make a minus colored variant too, because I could probably just make it clear. That'd be a solid maybe. Okay, next, Hydra Stomper. This one will be fun. This one I plan on just doing a couple washes. Like I guess I washes. I could maybe do the paints. Because I also have some rub and buff that would kind of get the same effect, but I really want to mess around with these things a little bit more. Which speak of the devil. I had some actual applicators I bought too long ago. And like I said, the problem is, is the table gets super messy super quick. Hey there. there. Alright, I don't know how I found them quick. And I gotta get this organized a bit better. Because I want to make it look a little prettier for you guys <laughs> when I'm streaming. Because I know this mat's not the prettiest thing to look at. <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to do a little black wash. So I got some black paint. Eh. Shake it up real good. Got some extra cups hanging around. One thing I tend to have a ton of down here too is a bunch of little plastic cups. Originally used, meant for mouthwash. Just going to put a little black. And dilute it with some water. Which? Okay, just double checking. I was using alcohol earlier and I couldn't remember which one was which. Hmm. Might need more water.
Okay, I think that's good enough. Got some extra paper towel on standby in case I have to pat it down. I'm just going to start applying this over the figure. I try to get in some nooks and crannies. I'm just going to try to gunk them up. <laughs> Air Casey upstairs just uh oh. Yeah, it should just make my life easier. I have a bigger brush. I probably should. Oh. <laughs> Do I actually have a bigger brush? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, some of it. I said I had a bigger brush. I had to hunt one down, though. Think about it a little harder. Separate. Get out of there. Hold on. <laughs> okay, he left. Cat's getting into the brushes.
What I'll probably do after doing the wash is I'll probably go over them real quick and sort of clean it up a little with some epoxy putty. Is there no sound? I, gotta say, I could also just be being quiet. <laughs> um. Oh, but fixing parts, I usually don't charge too much. Like if it's a pretty qu easy fix, for the most part, if you ship it to me, I, as long as I don't have to put any real effort into it, it's just whatever you want to tip and I'll send it back. <laughs> is it a photo I can do that whenever he's doing the whenever I'm doing this thing yeah. do the back real quick Um, the best way to get a hold of me is either you can email, you can message me through the Etsy shop, which the link is in the description. Uh, same with inst my Instagram. Uh, unimportant Steve. You can message me that way. Uh, if you do message me on that, just let me know and I'll check it in a little bit. Uh, or our Facebook page. Any of those are acceptable. I will say the Instagram and the Etsy, I will see much faster. Yeah, kind of. I'm doing this just so it's a quick way to get black in between the, the lines to kind of heighten them a little bit better. So when I go to clean it back up real quick, because I'll put some epoxy put or not epoxy, some alcohol on... Uh, some paper towel, and I'll go back over this and kind of clean it up a little. So the black isn't too harsh. Hey, Spider Boy Toys. How's it going today? A little bit under these things, too. Spread the water around a little more. Do -do -do. Evaporates a little better. <laughs> I feel like when I have the hair dryer going, I need to have like an atomic blast. <laughs> Something coming out of this mouth. Just across the screen. Have them spitting. Oh, that'd be kind of weird, though, wouldn't it? At least, like, the ant, like, I don't know about the animation for it.
Uh, we're just going to make it a little more accurate. Because uh, he wants it to be similar to the translucent variant. So not having like the blues on the stomach, what have you. And then just uh, doing a bit of a dry brushing just to make him more gritty. Well, not gritty, but just make him look a little, a little bit more movie accurate. Okay, now he's all covered in black. Next is... <laughs> it's still leaking a little. As with weather, doing it this way, it will. Man, he's loosey goosey now. He's super warm. Okay, so now, like I mentioned, it's one good way to get black paint all over your hands, too. He's going to take some alcohol spray paper towel and wipe some of it back off. Just for the most part, I, well, actually, I <laughs> have this a little bit more on screen. Uh, it can make my life a little easier. You guys can see me a little more. Oh, a little bit here and there. Right now, just, like I said, doing a wash. Kind of dirty them up a bit. Because I already originally did some on this, but... Because somebody's paying for it, I'm going to make it look a little better. Uh, neck is quite a bit <laughs> between using them for spare parts and whatnot. Like this guy uses some NECA Godzilla parts. Like, uh, I have the tail piece that goes there. I like the hands. We painted quite a few of them. Made a few into Super Godzilla's stuff like that. I'm mainly just trying to get rid of some of the black here so it doesn't quite look like water splotches. It's a little more smeary looking, kind of like that. Yeah, plus like a ton of legendaries for doing like various versions.
I kind of dig in that. Looking pretty good. Hey, legendary Godzilla. I got some Q-tips so I can those eyes back up. Might do a little bit of coloring around these things, but for the most part. A spot here on the arm that could be. All right, digging that. I wasn't. I didn't say it was impossible. I just wouldn't recommend it. Because <laughs> I can almost guarantee it doesn't look as good as the resin. Did the elastic work in it without it breaking? How did the teeth and all come out? They'd be a bit skeptical with the teeth. Like the teeth, the, the pretty much any of the spiky protrusions. <laughs> I would be hesitant that they look all right through filaments. Unless you had it like on a really tiny setting. Which at that point, like, why aren't you choosing resin? Oh man, I had that thing on pre-order. Oh, well, that's good though. The hit as long as it worked. Because, like I said, I see, I know, um, like the graboid and such, people did. Uh, I had a buddy that printed with filament, which it looked solid. It's just like I said, like all the little, like the, uh, the spiky bits, like it's used to go through the ground and what have you. None of those printed well. Yeah, because mine, uh, I have a big one. Mine's a CR10. Oh, that's cool. Oh, did you print the graboid? All right. Now he's a bit mucked up. Next. Like I said, I kind of want to play around with this stuff a little bit. The best one? Probably the 89. It'd be, it's 89 or honestly the 24 inch, the 24 inch 2014. I still would say it was a really high contender. Oh, that's a pretty sweet Christmas present. <laughs> I had to buy mine. Uh, okay. So. And use a little bit of the rust here. Anyways, I have replacements. I would buy it. I would probably buy a couple of them, to be honest. Like I said, I feel like he's like my spirit animal, so I'd have to get a couple. Uh... I guess I'm just going to randomly apply some of this here and there and just see how it looks. Hmm. 
This might be a brush job. Uh, do I have a good? Hmm. That's plying as well as I was hoping it would. No, if I remember right, they're, you're supposed to like steal these and then apply everything. I'm trying to be a little impatient. This is not sticking at all. Even with the brush. Like a little bit of it came off. <laughs> then I have to rehook up everything, and Steve wants money. Oh, there we go. I just gotta be a little heavy handed with it, I guess. Uh, Iron Mongrel, who this is. Oh, yeah, Hydra Stopper, yeah. <laughs> Iron Mongol is a villain. Uh, specifically, this is from the, the Iron Man What If episode. Yeah, Hydra Snapper. Hydra Snapper is the official name. <laughs> Shut down. I might be able to play for a few when I get this done. See this guy so angry all the time. I think the only thing with this rust color is it's probably not even worth me doing this because the way the coloring is, it's so similar. Yeah, wait your turn, man. I just want to apply some rust. Cause it's like, it's a subtle. Subtle color of this one. Hey, good door. He hangs out upstairs. Oh, 
I get some rust on like the bolts and what have you. You know, see, I'm not really being specific where I'm applying this because the way rust would be on. Yeah, well, it's just like if you ever see it on a car or metal or anything, never in the same spots. Generally, it will be along edges, though. That's kind of what I'm focus focusing on a little bit here. Okay, try this other one. Should be a brighter orange. Hi, Godzilla. He's hanging out uh, behind the laptop at the moment. One thing with these makeup brushes, you have to wash these things up quick. Oh, there we go. Now oh, we're getting some colors popping. I almost kind of want this thing to look like it's to give somebody tetna. <laughs> Um, probably like 30 minutes. I'm probably going to have to let this sit a bit after I get done with this, so I probably won't do the silver today. Cause I know he mentioned it being, he wanted it kind of weathered, but it's also supposed to be like sitting in kind of like an Iron, Iron Man thing. <laughs> what do you call them? Like the Iron Man displays, the chambers. So I don't think of it as being like super dirty, but just not like the armors definitely showed the mage though.
like I said, I'll get all this grime on, and then I'll probably clear, slap it with some clear, so then it's not going to come back off. I dig that. Looks all nice and banged up now. So I'm probably being a little too handsy with this stuff with the powder on it. You can hang out right there. Good means. Because I also imagine the lower section would have show a little bit more rust with it walking around. Because that's going to be like what's coming to contact with water more. Stuff like that. Hey, crazy Carl. Yeah, YouTube's kind of hit and miss with the streaming whole thing. Oh, I forgot about this thing. We gotta weather this guy real quick. Uh, I'd at least like to get the blue off your Godzilla today. Hopefully this will be quick. Now my hands are all orange. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit less blue. Okay, so like I said, I'll probably spray them and then maybe be do one more pass on it with some more rusting. Right now it looks pretty good. So next. Like I said, we'll try to get we'll get the blue off them today, at least for this. Cause, like I said, I don't think the back's really all that bad. Where's my phone? Yeah, there's my phone. Do 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 do. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> it is for sure. Because it should be like that. Technically. But it's a really bright blue with dark, really dark blue dry brushing.
No, like I said, I'll kick down, kick it down a little bit through the stomach. That could probably stay. That's not going to really get in the way because I, I like the the distance of the way the back looks, anyways. But it's going to be adding like painting these bright blue and then dry brushing them, dry brushing the entire thing. But yeah, no, it should like right around here. It should stop. No, you're right. It's super blue. So, with that being said, I'm gonna take the head off. It's pretty much the head I'm going to get rid of. Both the heads will get rid of the blue. Up top of head and maybe a little bit around the eyes. This I can more or less leave alone. I'm saying with that, but where the head goes, I definitely want it to stop and then clean up around the sides a little bit. It's going good. It's going good. Scary. Uh, where's my primer? Gray primer. A gray primer and probably a little bit of black, so that I can match the base coat. Front brush. That brush will work. Nope, too bright. Uh... Oops, didn't want three. It's a black, but we're here now. Uh, that's close. Yeah, a little bright still. There we go. And then you wanted him dry brushed, right? Like to be a little more dirty looking, kind of like the movie. All right, good. I don't need this much more on here. Okay, just double checking. Like I said, the mouth and the eyes I actually like on this. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, I guess for this, I could probably zoom in a little more so you guys can see. But like I said, it's just getting rid of the blue from the top here. Everything else, not too bad. Same with this guy. Just clean up the blue around the eyes just a little bit. Oh yeah, for sure. I was going to be covering it up and redoing it. Like the blue on the belly and there's like a little bit on the arms and the legs. I was just going to get rid of that.
And for this, just to make, like, make a little bit more sense on the body. This is where the head is. I want it to be like the cutoff. It kind of does look like a tank top, doesn't it? Oh, is there blue under his chin? Okay, it's just not here. All right. I forgot I got to do the front here, too. Well, the front section of the neck. Spread the arms as far as they go. Same with the legs. I'll just remove that for a minute. Like I mentioned, we're just going to get rid of all this because we are going to be re-dry brushing. Sorry. Guys, game, see what I'm doing. Again, really want to make like a dedicated spot so I know exactly where I need to be and it'd be comfortable to paint with. All right. Okay, for the head, it was pretty close to matching. On the body, <laughs> it's a little bit on the bright side. Well, I'll be fine. We're going to be, like I said, dry brushing this entire thing anyways, so it's going to be relatively hidden. Oh, actually. We'll match it a little better real quick. Get one more layer on here just to make sure I get rid of all this blue. Well, at least you're able to get one, because I know that guy sold out stupid fast. Here is how he looks now with his tummy. Colors matching pretty well. Like I said, I'll be doing some dry brushing, too. Over that. Just to fix him up a little bit. 
make them look a little bit more movie accurate. And same for the tech region here. Gonna kick these down too. Hey, Andrew. Catching the tail end of this one. I was saying the one thing I like about this figure is how pronounced the gills are on it. Always look really good on this one. All right, I think that's good enough. Blue is still showing up a little bit on the head. Always like with this gray primer, it does a pretty good job, but it still doesn't quite hide on the first pass. Usually what's really good at is if you just want to apply paint to something. Then it'll kind of hide it, but the paint will still stick good enough. Really need the color gone though, you gotta do a couple passes. Like I'm treating this as like my base coat, so <laughs> I need it to not, uh, whatever colors underneath isn't the show. All right, sweet. So that's pretty much it for that. And I think we'll call it good for the stream. Then I can try to go make her nice happy and play with them for like 40 minutes before I decide to go crash. I always like to thank you guys for coming and check out the stream. Might do one again, t maybe tomorrow. Tuesday for sure. Cause two, uh, cause I got two days off this week or an extra day off this week, I should say, where me and Jessica have the same days. So I'm hoping I can get some of the more of the sculpting. I get two days to work on sculpting. I mean, one of those streams might be me just applying epoxy putty to stuff. Oh yeah, sadly it's over. But anyways, if you want to help us defeat those kaijus, you can hit that like button. Is that the Steve? Yes. Yes, it is. It is time. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because I'll just work on both of them. A little here and there. So hopefully Tuesday and Thursday I'll be able to. Because of Mangular, actually, hopefully by Thursday he'll be mostly done. It's Tuesday I'll probably be able to get the like the rest of the seams all hidden. Get the other side done with the little bumps and maybe work on the head slash neck. Uh, it might be a little bit longer than that because I still got that tail I got to do too. Hopefully next like week or like two weeks I might be able to have it done. It's the same with Lady Draco's here. Because it'll be like Tuesday, I'll probably get the back on. Maybe mess with something else. Because it's pretty much going to be like one day is going to be like doing the arm forearms. One day is going to be doing the legs. And then between the back and the tail is probably going to be like another day or two or a day or two worth. 
Plus, I still got to do the cheeks. Can't forget about the fucking bits on the cheeks. Okay, that works for me. Like I said, I'll probably, I'd say like around the end of the month, I'll probably have it wrapped up. It was nice having these like random commissions in between because then it's got like, it's nice to be able to hop between stuff so I don't get super distracted. Plus like paints, like if I had to get, like stop painting, it's, it's whatever. Problem is like sculpting, if I have to stop sculpting and do something, then I pretty much have to start a new batch of epoxy. And I'd rather not. Oh, sweet. Spidey should be here tomorrow? Oh, hey, I was going to say, I uh, I know you mainly collect the... Whatchamacallit? It's just a Spider-Man. Just same Raimi. The same Raimi Spider-Mans. But I have an extra of the... Uh, what if Spider-Man's that's been painted? I wasn't sure if you'd maybe be interested in that. Or possibly doing some more drawing work. Because he was originally, I bought him to go with this guy, but since I'm selling him, <laughs> I don't really need it anymore. But if you'd be interested, let me know. Might be, because I might also... I think I remember where that's, uh, yeah, the zombie hunter Spidey. I did the, uh, lining for the webbing and then I weathered them a little bit to look a little more grimy and also messed with the cape a little bit too. Turned out good. I thought it came out really solid. The only two Spider-Mans I messed with, I've done him and I've done a Peter B. Parker, the one with the sweatpants. Does it bug me that he didn't have any black lining? Although him, I still got to touch him a little bit. He's just been kind of hanging on the shelf indefinitely because I haven't gotten back to him. But anyways, help us defeat those characters by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Well, not Pinterest, really. Uh, keep saying Pinterest. TikTok. We have a TikTok now. As long as Arnez doesn't get it banned, <laughs> we still have a TikTok. Uh, music and copyrights. Good times. Uh, if you also like to get some collectibles for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Help support the channel and get yourself some sweet collectibles. And if you like to pick up some higher Godzilla's for yourself, link in the description for CalcusToys.com. You can save six percent off your order using Steve Calcus at checkout. So who doesn't love saving six percent? Good time. We also have some other Chinese action figures like the Joy Toys. Third party transformers, what have you. There's actually a couple of transformers that we kind of have something to grab on there. Kind of want to bug them to send me one, but I feel like they already sent me enough with the Godzilla stuff. <laughs> I could probably manage to buy those. Especially since they're canceling the, uh, well, I heard they're canceling the Masterpiece line. So we're not even going to have those anymore. So I'm kind of glad I didn't hop into the Beast Wars 100%. That's I'm not finishing it. But anyways, see you guys next time.